Good morning guys and happy Thursday morning. Today I have travelled down from Glasgow to Blackpool Pleasure Beach for a different kind of event or experience. Today I will be walking on the Big Dipper on the tracks itself so yeah I've got that to look forward to, something different. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record the experience or not so I'll find that out when I get there. If not I will just have to go and enjoy the experience and let you know how I get on. Obviously I will record some of the ride externally but yeah we'll just take it, we'll just play by ear and see how we got on but yep yeah, I'm just off the train, arrived at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, gonna have a walk round to the Hilton by Hampton where I'm staying overnight and then tomorrow I'm on to another day Let's see if I can check in. I'm not too sure in the times I can check in, but let's find out. That's me all checked in. Now just to get to the room. So here I am. indeed got a lovely sea room view it was amazing on a day like this fantastic view and I'm only about five minute walk to the right hand side there down here to get to the pleasure beach So I'll do a bit of a room tour in a minute, I'm just going to get settled just now, recharge the batteries like I mentioned, and yeah, see you soon. So now that I'm settled we can do a room tour. I paid for one night, and this is a double room with a sea view, which you've seen briefly and we'll see again shortly, but what we'll do is do a little room tour just now. Starting at the front door, a little bit of safety that we all need to read just for fire evacuation plans. Crumb sockets, for the bathroom, me, it's a big shower to be fair. It's big. Shower heads, little body washes, conditioners, shampoos, very nice. One big sink, some body lotion and hand soap, nice big mirror with these lights built in. Toilet, two toilet rolls, holders. Very fancy, little tissue holder, 
and some towels, towel holder, nice towels. Gonna be a bit weird with towels, but it's nice. We've got this sliding door. Back into the little hallway, this big mirror. You slide that same door over again and you get your wardrobe. But I have put some of my clothes in just now. This little thing to put your bag on to unpack your bag, I think. You've got your hair dryer, iron board, iron shelf. And now the bedroom side. Double bed. Control temperatures. We've got single socket to this side with two USB points, which is great. A little light here as well. Control the main light. Single socket below. Same again with the light. Single socket here. The USB points. Phone. Bedside unit. Some drawers. One a safe as well. Which is good. Table, fancy chair, leg rest, another chair, desk, my mask, do some your business stuff on, another mirror, TV, some teas, coffees, milks, sugars, herbal teas, kettle. And of course, with this room, you get this view. Couldn't have picked a better day, to be honest, to see this view. Ah, right, since I have been watered and fed, and I'm going to sit and chill on this purpley chair, that I just shown. Um, the plan for me really was to start a little mini series. This is something that I want to do going forward. This will be more so, well, to be fair, it'll be um, Walt Disney World Universal Studios will be my first point of call once we're able to go and travel there. However, I do want to try other places. This is why I'm in Blackpool uh, for the next two days and going to do something different tonight so just now it is roughly quarter to one in the afternoon i have been up since around half past four this morning to get the train down from glasgow to here and tonight at half past seven i will be walking on the famous big dipper like i've said before i think and don't ask why I'm doing it, <laughs> I don't really know why, i just seen that it was something different, something that, that kind of pushed my boundaries a little bit uh, in regards to my comfort zone, so something different for me to give it a go and yeah, enjoy the experience. I picked the right day for it to be honest, like we've seen there with the weather, so I don't see any issues with that. Uh, I believe there's only four people allowed to do this experience at a time. I'll be one of them tonight. I don't know what I can record. I think I've said that before. So we just need to play it by ear. And if I can record it, I can record it. If not, I'll just need to give the feedback of the experience and let you know what I thought of it. But yeah, um, just now as I said, it's nearly one o'clock. I'm just going to relax for another half an hour. So it's a long 
day ahead and at night. There's plenty of things going on that I can go and check out shortly, which I'm going to go, which I'm going to do. Uh, some of which I will record and put in today's vlog. And if there's anything else I can record, any other experiences that I can get booked on just now to go and do more videos with for future, then I'll do that. Um, but I'm just gonna go with the flow. I've got something booked for tonight. As I said, I don't want to overdo myself because tomorrow I have a few things booked and planned, which will be again. Uh, day two of this series but yeah so next time you see me I will be out of the hotel and checking a few things out so see you soon I also should have mentioned that there's a nice gap underneath the bed which is to me unusual so you can slide your bags underneath so I'll put mine in there which you can see just slide mine out you can see how that just fits in, to be fair. But yeah, I thought that was worth mentioning, just because it's a nice space to use. That's something I haven't seen before, this little door stop. Obviously I've seen the ones that kind of pull over and latch in, but that's cool here. So just change that over, open the door, and it hits that. Yeah, something different. to go on an adventure. So now that I'm free from the hotel, I'm going to quickly check out the beach because let's be honest it's right across the road. Keep an eye on the trams, look both ways if you're not used to trams like myself so make sure you look. So as you can imagine I'm right next to the seaside and it is pretty windy today even though it is a beautiful day so apologies if you can't really hear me, but I, I put the little muffler on my camera, hopefully to drown out a bit, but hopefully that helps. Well, look, so you can see I'm right next to the, the beach. It's an amazing day for it. You see the little crystals. Pleasure Beach. So I'm literally, I'll say five minutes walk, but probably less than that. So if you can see the hotel just there where I'm staying, there's Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So probably less than five minutes, but yeah, great location what I'm doing tonight and maybe tomorrow who knows what I'm doing tomorrow you'll need to subscribe and look out for that video but just can't get just can't get enough of this weather this view and you pay a lot of money to go abroad and get this kind of weather beaches Facilities, amusement, entertainment. We've got a few guys coming up on the big one. to know that I'm not walking on that one tonight. I don't think I would be up for that to be honest. I think it's the, sorry, I know it's the Big Dipper, which as you see there's the, the wooden one there. It goes down further. I don't know what sections I'll be walking tonight, but uh, obviously I'll find that out uh, later on. Car park right across from the Pleasure Beach called South Beach. 
We need to pay for it. This is going to sound really windy guys, so apologies again, but I can't help get myself close to the sea here. It's just roasting, really hot, and the wind's just uh, cooling us down, so it's perfect really, weather uh, to relax. And, uh, so far, I have been into Ripley's, believe it or not, and I've also been into, or onto, the South Pier, kind of family area. There will be two videos in the future, so be sure to subscribe for those videos in the future and you can check them out if you like. So I'm just going to walk about now, don't want to do too much in the heat and walk around because it is still around about half past three just now, or kind of for four maybe, and uh, obviously I've got this, this walk tonight on the Big Dipper coaster. So, don't want to overdo it. I might just find somewhere just to sit and relax and take this in for the next hour or so and then get something to eat. as well. That's pretty cool. The flume's coming outside. Do they actually come outside? Or is that just for a feature? That was pretty cool. The horror crit. Walk in the dark. I don't know if this is open. But, no, it's not open. That would be pretty cool. Probably because of Covid or maybe it's shut down, but... Have uh, any of you guys been in there? Let me know. I tried to get into film the experience for the Fear Factor. Well, sorry, the Fear Factory. Um, which is Passage del Terror. Um, I think I've seen that right, but they wouldn't let me record on it, so I've left it for now. So it's like a horror um, walkthrough, like a scare zone that you maybe see in Universal Studios, but a bit more down here. I think it's only lasts about 10-15 eh, minutes, so, but, yeah. It's, uh, it's got live actors in it as well, I think it was £9.50 for the experience, but yeah well, it's a let down. It would have been good to get in and record it, I don't know why they won't allow recording in there, um, but yeah, maybe another time. Well, I came back to the hotel just to chill for a bit, but now it's time to go and climb the Big Dipper, or walk the Big Dipper. the gate randomly. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see some people on the tracks there. Just in, oh, in there. So they're on the Big Dipper. They're on time slot before myself, so obviously they're not just now. I'm just heading into mine shortly. So that gives you a glimpse of what we're doing. So you see the wooden roller coaster here, just a section of it at these gates. So, Looks like little wires there, hopefully that'll be a section that we walk over. Let's see you clipped on there, harnessed on. So we're in, we made it. Just a gate between the two hotels. Now we're going to go to this guy and check in. 
got me all kitted out, ready to go. This is the, the one we're going to go on. Perfect night for it, so let's do it. Maybe if need be, yeah. usually it's obviously in the morning, but you know, you've got periods of weather changes and that throughout the day. We'll come and we'll adjust this, change the numbers, um, depending on obviously whether it's really hot, if it's raining, um, cold, train, yeah, it's very <laughs> cold, because that all affects the speed of the train. So, this kind of takes the initial oomph out of the momentum of the train. So, when it comes into the brake levers, it's a little bit easier for the operator to, uh, to stop it. And um, yeah, so we'll, we'll go down, we'll get attached to the ride, and we'll. Uh, Start walking. How often I'm going to stand here? Yeah, you know, when you're within by, you, you're concentrating kind of on that experience. I'm not recording the hotel. Yeah. I'll definitely need a cold beer.
Let's have someone jump out and people here. <laughs> yeah. I would add to the experience. Definitely. Mm. Run along. <laughs> Probably run faster than it to this guy. Uh, that does look steep, doesn't it? <laughs> not enjoying it, you're not taking in kind of the, the views to like, it's more like, and it's really fun to show you. Hey, who's making pigeon noises? <laughs> my stomach in it? It's my stomach. You've got a talent. Oh yeah. <laughs> The perfect night for it. Yeah. Perfect time. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, I suppose it goes. It does look a bit like the stuff that you know you've worked on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not like it's not like the stuff that you've worked on. Hey. Someone told me there was scare actors in this. Like a horror movie. So this, you left it to the end, didn't you? Right. Yeah. 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 And now we get to go on it. <laughs> when I'm in a picture stood in front of the train. Yeah, could do. I'll do a video selfie. Hey. <laughs> Everyone says Scotland will beat England. That's us. Finished. Me just off the rail, well, just out the park. Um, what an amazing experience, to be honest. If you can make it and do it, definitely highly, just highly recommend. Um, hopefully, the video does it justice. Very well organised by Blackpool Pleasures Beach, the, the theme park, and all the guys that were uh, the three instructors that took us on. Um, they just set me, look after us, and made sure we we're safe. So, thank you very much, guys, and. It's something ticked off my bucket list, something I'll remember for the rest of my life, and yeah, fantastic experience, so back to the hotel now, chill, and another day tomorrow. Well, that's been a long day, first day, day one of my mini-series at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, what a, what a way to end it, to be honest with you. That's a fantastic experience for the Walk the Woody, the Big Dipper roller coaster. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone, to be honest. So, I'm going to call it a night. So, I've been Mac Blogs, aka Ian. And if you want to see what's coming up in the future, subscribe to me. Check the links in the description. And yeah. Oh, and also, I went and got some goodies. So I picked up this bag, walked the woody, so I've walked the woody, I've walked the woody. That was seven pound, I think, off the top of my head. And this was a freebie, because I've taken part in walking the Big Dipper. This is a bit of timber from the roller coaster. Uh, probably an old bit of timber, they probably renewed it, hopefully. But, yeah, so, great mementos. And that's it guys, so... Thank you for watching, if you've watched all the way through, I really appreciate it. See you all soon, hopefully see you guys tomorrow when I upload that video. Upload that video. So, take care guys, see you all soon.